In this time of protecting our health, healthcare personnel are in high demand. The American Heart Association is hoping to add to that number, as you'll see in tonight's school patrol. So I'm a biology major at TSU. It has the typical look. So I'm splitting the cells in the petri dishes. Where you'd expect to see. So I'm just splitting them so that they can have room and grow. Scientists leaning over a microscope. I'm looking at cells. Like Tennessee State University student Bianca Walker. I'm looking at cells to see how confluent they are after I split them. Although Walker attends TSU. Professors at TSU connected me with Dr. Barnett during the summer. In a program that was the brainchild of Dr. Joey Barnett. So we began a partnership with the American Heart Association where we get young men and women who are interested in careers in science and medicine. That's a coronary osteo on a heterozygote. We talked to them about the mission of the AHA and opportunities that they could have in research at an institution like Vanderbilt. Growing up, you don't really see African-American or minority figures that are doctors or engineers. Students like TSU's Dontrez Johnson, Jr. You don't really see that growing up. So just to be able to get out of my comfort zone, well not necessarily a comfort zone, just be able to get out of my community. This is a teaching microscope, so we're looking at things, observing together, and see something different. Just kind of gave me that edge and feel like, okay, I can do this. Many of the students are involved for very personal reasons. My uncle got diagnosed with cancer and he had to wear a pacemaker. This gives you a little bit more de definition in the shape. When I would ask him questions, he was like, you want to know what to do? Go look it up. My mom had a heart attack about two years ago, so I wanted to do something that was in cardiovascular research. I have a little brother, so every time I speak to him on the phone, he always encourages me to just continue being the best that I could be for the family. You see that green arrow right there? Identifying the coronary oscia. And you really have to be dedicated to finding the answer. Mark Crowder was the first scholar in the program. And so he said, hey, Mark, I'm going to start this program. Why don't you <laughs> be the first student in it? And I said, well, sure, why not? He's since been awarded a pre-doctoral fellowship, which will fund his study of fat tissue. Fat undergoes this transition from storing fat to actually burning it. He's encouraging other students to consider a career in STEM. If you enjoy learning and like working with your hands and like being challenged, then research is definitely something for you. But you have to take that first step and reach out. It comes down to that passion and that fire in the belly. Where I'm from, there's not a lot of African-American doctors. When I interview students, it's the ones that want to get started that day. Those are the ones you want.